welcome back now we'll talk about the command called service so system ctl and service both do the same work so now the service commands if you see the service service name start service service name stop same way but only difference is here you can see stop is in front of the service name and here we can see service name is first and the action is second whether you want to stop start or restart same thing you can able to do it so let's go and uh, execute the service command also so here if you see service and the same apache to if you check status it will show whether the service is running or not and the same enabled status is also it will show and uh, also service stop apache 2 it is going to be stopped sorry service apache 2 stop then it is going to stop this service and you can check whether it is stopped or not service status service apache 2 status so it is in the stopped state then again you can able to start or you can able to restart it service apache 2 start so this way we can able to start this service but always remember in real world whenever we do any configuration changes for example for apache 2 whenever we install this package background there will be some files also will get created related to this software so let's say for example uh, find you can use find command wherever it got installed apache so here if you see apache files has been created whenever whenever this package is installed this files has been created and like this if you see inside this etc apache 2 this is a configuration path and under this lot of other configurations is available like if you modify anything inside this con file conf means configuration files then to check to take effect those changes we need to restart this service so sometimes always preferable instead of doing restart service apache to restart we should use reload command so why because restart what it will do it will complete stop and start the service to take effect these changes but if you do reload also what it will do it will only take the changes whatever we have done to the configuration and it will apply those changes so here in real world for example as i said if lot of customers are connected to this let's say this is the web server and lot of uh, front end users are already connected to this server and they uh, logged into that website and they are doing some activity and if you restart that service then all those existing connections will get disconnected so it's an impact so instead of that if you do reload then it is not going to completely shut down that service and it will not come online it is just going to take those changes whatever we have done to the configuration and it will apply those changes so then no user can able to like any of the user will not able to disconnect from that website and they can able to do their work continuously so that is major important whenever in real world if you are doing in the production servers any service you want to restart so better go with the reload until unless if you have a downtime downtime in the sense it's a planned activity scheduled time you are planning then obviously we will intimate to the customers that this during this time we are going to do some activity then you can able to do restart whatever you want but during production hours we should not use this restart option okay so this is about the service and service command same like the system ctl how to stop the service start the service and uh, enable the service all these things so we'll meet in the next video bye for now